This guy is so strong, no one could beat him. Superhuman strength. Real strength isn't just a measure of how good you are in the gym or what you can pick up. Many people can naturally accomplish feats of strength that anyone would look at and call superhuman. In this huge world, there are unreal people with unreal talents. They are absurdly powerful. The strength these people displayed for gawking crowds was raw, and it was their performances that made them stronger, nothing systematic. In this light, we attempted to recognize not just recorded strength, but potential strength as well. Call it a metaphysical leveling of the playing field. Without further ado, we have made you this list of people with superhuman strength. If you're a subscriber, well, welcome back to The Majestic. But if you're new to this channel and you want to enjoy some more of our engaging and quirky content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and use that happy trigger finger by clicking that like button. Let's get into it. Leonard Taranenko. Taranenko set the world record in weightlifting for the clean and jerk, 266 kilograms or 58.2 pounds, and total 475 kilograms or 1,045 pounds, way back in 1988, an eon in weightlifting years, and these records still stand today. Due to restructuring by the International Weightlifting Federation of its weight classes, Taranenko's official records no longer stand but his lifts have yet to be equaled. You know how hard it is to bench six plates? Imagine lifting it overhead. Now that's power. Zidruna Savikas. In our opinion, he's one of the strongest men of all time. You just can't argue with these numbers. Savikas has won the Arnold Strongman Classic seven times, 2003 to 2008, and again in 2014 which is considered a truer test of pure strength than the better known WSM competition. In 2005, he broke three world records en route to victory at the IFSA Strongman World Championship. The following year, he again took top honors. Zavikas placed second at the WSM competition in 2002, 2003 and 2004, usually dominating the events that involved pure strength while not doing as well in those that required speed and agility. In 2009, he broke the streak by winning the WSM, an accomplishment he'd repeat in 2010, 2012, and 2014. In 2014, Savikas also set a new world record with a 500-pound log lift to complement his other impressive totals, a raw squat of 880 pounds, a 900-pound deadlift, and a 629-pound bench. Robert Oberst. The American professional strongman was awarded his pro card at the 2012 Dallas Europa Amateur Strongman Competition. He is a yearly competitor of the World's Strongest Man Competition and a finalist in the 2013 World's Strongest Man and 2018 World's Strongest Man Competitions. From a young age, he was considerably taller than most of his family and friends, standing at six foot one and weighing 220 pounds on his 12th birthday. After college, Oberst gave the NFL a shot, but didn't make the cut. Soon after, Oberst got into bouncing at a nightclub. It was there that one of Oberst's co-workers introduced him to the world of strongman competitions and encouraged him to train for the events. Upon going to his first workout session, he unofficially broke the amateur log press world record, which at the time was around 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. With some training, his strength grew greater, and after only four months of training, Oberst had received his pro card. Lewis Uni. It's especially difficult to calculate just where Uni, aka Apollon the Mighty, should rank among these all time greats as chronicles of his feats are mostly florid, non-critical accounts. But he was known for his great grip strength and large hands, which rendered him capable of lifting bars others couldn't even get their hands around. Uni was also quite possibly the world's first strength athlete, being an extremely agile man who took on all comers in wrestling challenges. Jeff Darb. 
one look at Jeff Dub and his 19-inch forearms will tell a story of a man who possesses arms and hands fit for a giant. But Jeff Dub doesn't live in a fairy tale or in the pages of a comic book. He's an athlete who has overcome and triumphed. The World Arm Wrestling League is the league of choice for Jeff Dub. It's the league which makes his side money and solidifies his image as one of America's premier arm wrestlers. His friends gave Dub the nickname Popeye, very fitting for a man with a 19-inch circumference bicep, about six inches larger than the average American bicep of 13 inches. To date, Darb has gone to the finals twice and placed third at the 2015 Northern Region Tournament. Had he been arm wrestling with his dominant hand, Despite arm wrestling being a very specialised niche sport, its power has rapidly grown with each passing year. Muhammad Rashid Nasim Pakistan's renowned martial artist Muhammad Rashid Nasim seized another Guinness World Record by cracking over 256 walnuts with the help of his elbow within 60 seconds. Previously, Nassim managed to break the record of smashing 247 walnuts with his head in just one minute on July 15, 2018. The Guinness World Record for most walnuts cracked against the head in one minute was previously 217, achieved by India's Naveen Kumar in November 2017. The artist now has 45 world records to his name, while the approved record of the Pakistan Academy of Martial Arts has reached to 59. The Pakistan Academy of Martial Arts is the only academy in the entire world with over 50 records, as Rashid Nasim has earned and put his name in each of the categories. So what are your thoughts on these crazy strong guys? Are these people familiar to you? You'll be baffled to see who's on our first place, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. Bill Kazmir Kaz is considered by many to be the strongest of the strong, and it's hard to argue. The winner of the 80, 81 and 82 WSM contest, Kazmir was barred from competing in 1983 by the event's organisers because it was assumed that so long as he competed, no one else would ever get the chance to save a victory. Kaz was the first man to lift all five McGlashan stones, which weigh between 90 and 160 kilograms, about 200 and 350 pounds. His 661 pound bench press stood as the world record for years, and if not for a pec tear shortly thereafter, he would have surely bested it himself. His 2,425 pound total set back in 1981 is still the record for raw, no bench shirt, no squat suit, power lifting today. Get ready to be amazed by the strongest people that earned the top of this list. Magnus Mitbo. Magnus Rognan is a Norwegian rock climber and YouTube video blogger. He retired from competitive climbing in 2017. In 2000, Mitbo started climbing when he was 11 years old, after his mother signed him up for a climbing course. After only one year of climbing, he won the Norwegian Youth Championship. In 2005, he won the World Youth Championships in Beijing, China. Mitbo runs a successful eponymous YouTube channel which, as of August 2020, has over 700,000 subscribers. On his channel, Mitbo posts videos centered around climbing with themes including training advice, collaboration with other climbers. He also posts climbing and workout related pictures and videos on his Instagram where he has more than 615,000 followers in 2020. In 2013, Mitbo participated in a German TV show called Der Deutschmeister, the German champion, as the international contender in the category Rexton Gengletten, Salmon Ladder. Mitbo won against the German contender. In January 2020, Mitbo represented Team Europe in American Ninja Warrior, USA versus the world. Juju Mufu. John Call is known as Juju Mufu, but most know him as the anabolic acrobat. Many people might have discovered him because he is the guy who did the weighted chair split videos that went viral. He lives in the United States in the state of Alabama and has been training and dieting since 1999. In 2000, he started teaching himself something called tricking. In 2002, he launched the website trickstutorials.com where he grew the largest community of online tricksters outside of social media. As he grew into an adult, he began to combine his tricking talents with recreational bodybuilding and strength pursuits. The result is Acrobolics. The name Acrobolics is a play on the words acrobatic and anabolic. John Call's Judge Cut's performance in America's Got Talent 
consisted of swinging from a rope, flipping into a chair, wrestling and spinning somebody in a gorilla suit and heaving a woman onto a mat in front of him. John's performance was not strong enough for the judges to send him to the quarterfinals, eliminating him from the competition along with Philippe and Murray Lee instead of the passing zone. However, there's no doubt the man is indeed one of the strongest in the world. Half-Bore Julius Bjornsson Half-Bore Julius Bjornsson is an Icelandic former professional strongman and actor. He is the first person to have won the Arnold Strongman Classic, Europe's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man in the same calendar year. He played Gregor, the Mountain Clegane, in the HBO series Game of Thrones for five seasons. He also is a former professional basketball player. On the 2nd of May 2020, Halfboard deadlifted 501 kilograms, 1,105 pounds, under strongman rules at his gym in Iceland and refereed by Magnus Ver Magnusson. The achievement was televised live by ESPN and surpassed Eddie Hall's strongman deadlift record of 500 kilograms, or 1,102 pounds, set back in 2016. On the 15th of February 2020, Halfboard deadlifted an unofficial world record on the elephant bar with 480 kilograms, 1,058 pounds. On the 2nd of May 2020, Halfboard deadlifted 501 kilograms, 1,105 pounds, under strongman rules in an event that was broadcast on ESPN. In March 2017, he was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. He got the world records in deadlift, 474 kilograms or 1,045 pounds. Elephant bar, strongman raw with wrist straps, Arnold Strongman Classic in 2019, and deadlift, 501 kilograms or 1,105 pounds, strongman rules. So who among these strong people amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel so we can enlighten your curiosity and continue giving you the best content. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.